And then pretty soon it started getting to where they were, I was getting collection calls. A Minnesota veteran turned over to collections after the VA refuses to pay for medical care they instructed him to get. Investigative reporter A.J. Legault continues to dig into the VA's bizarre refusals to pay for veterans' emergency room treatment. It's a great place to go get care. I have no complaints at all. Army veteran Bob Ramsey wanted that point about the Minneapolis VA's actual medical care made crystal clear. But he also believes VA bureaucracy did him wrong. Exactly. Bob now works as a dispatcher for a trucking company after years as a tank mechanic for Uncle Sam. Some days if I have to walk a lot, my knee will swell up. His knees are shot. Right one will have to be replaced eventually. In 2015, he needed a knee surgery, but the wait time at the Minneapolis VA was too long. So he was approved for the Veterans Choice Program Ms. that Connor. President Obama signed into law, allowing veterans facing lengthy VA delays to get care at private hospitals. Bob's surgery was done at Maple Grove. So I got that, that done and thought everything would be okay. Bob has a blood disorder, so he was warned if he had any unusual pain after surgery, not to ignore it. Because I could have a blood clot. About a week after his surgery at Maple Grove, Bob had growing pain in his calf, so called the Minneapolis VA, asking if he should come in to their ER. He says he spoke with the nurse on duty. And she said, well, you should go in and be seen right away, but you should go back to where you had the surgery. And so that's what I did. You can probably guess what happens next. Right there. Bob got a letter in the mail from the Minneapolis VA refusing to pay for his ER visit because he could have gone to the VA. VA or federal facility was available to provide services. Claim denied. I called for advice, called for, they asked what they want me to do. They told me what to do. I did what they told me to do and then they refused to pay. Bob says he tried reasoning with the VA for nearly a year. Exactly. Meanwhile, his bill from Maple Grove was turned over to a collection agency. They'll continue to call and harass you. You know, this is your bill. You should get the service, you should pay for it. You know, you're a bad person because you didn't pay your bills. Bob is not alone. During a congressional hearing last year, the VA is many times forced to deny a significant number of emergency treatment claims. This VA undersecretary testified that in just one year, the VA denied payment of $2.6 billion for veterans' ER bills. 140,000 claims were denied because a VA facility was determined to have been available. Bob's story raises serious questions about the fairness and validity of those denials affecting veterans all across the nation. And I thought, well, I might as well speak up because if we don't speak up, no one's going to listen. Apparently, the Minneapolis VA is now listening. One day after Carol Levin contacted them asking about Bob's denial, he got this voicemail from VA official Mike Rosecrans. Hey, I just want you to know that the uh, claims, the ER emergent care claims, will be processed today for payment. Bob wonders yes. why it took a call from a reporter for the VA to do what's right. Well, it's, that's a bureaucracy. Well, the Minneapolis VA sent us a statement that said in part, thanks for bringing this issue to our attention. This was an error on our part, and Bob's claim is being processed for payment. You know, it's happened so many times on stories that you have looked into, and it's so frustrating that it takes a call like that to get action. And the uh, bill wasn't even that big for no, an emergency room bill. No, no, Bob's bill was only about $400, but we have heard from other veterans who've gotten some similarly questionable denials where it's been tens of thousands yeah. of dollars. As we know, ER bills can really uh, start racking up pretty mm -hmm. fast. Right. And we're continuing to look into it. Our investigation started after a tip from a viewer. So if you have a suggestion or want to share records of your VA emergency room claim denial, email us at investigations at care11.com. Thank you, AJ.